Welcome to a brand new week here at Naked News. I'm Cecilia Summer. We've got a lot to get to today, so let's get started with the news. Protests against China's zero COVID policies are continuing to break out across that country. Multiple cities have seen demonstrators out in force holding blank pieces of paper up as a symbol against the government's censorship of their cause. Protesters are opposed to China's lockdowns, mass testing and strict quarantines in its effort to stop COVID outbreaks. The issue has put considerable pressure on Chinese President Xi Jinping, but the government has not formally responded to or even acknowledged the protests so far. The fashion brand Balenciaga has filed a $25 million lawsuit against the production company and the set designer behind a shocking and offensive ad campaign. The ads for the brand's spring-summer 2023 collection featured children with teddy bears and bondage gear, and one photo included documents referencing a Supreme Court case about child pornography. Balenciaga says the inclusion of those documents was unauthorized, and the producers were, quote, malevolent or at the very least, extraordinarily reckless. And our good friend Spencer Tunick has done it again. The photographic artist, famous for his images of groups of naked people, held another photo shoot this weekend, this one at Bondi Beach in Australia. And this time it was for an even better reason than just appreciating nudity. About 2,500 people stripped down as part of an effort to raise awareness of the risks of skin cancer. Tunic partnered with the charity Skin Check Champions to publicize Australia's National Skin Cancer Action Week, which hopes to bring worldwide attention to the disease. That's your first look at the headlines. I'll be back shortly with a few more, so don't go away.